Good morning, good morning. My name is Noelle. I am an educator at the Natural History Museum and we're back for Friday morning story time. Uh, I'm gonna wait just a minute and a half or so for people to join in. So while we're waiting, if you feel like commenting where you're joining from today, please feel free. I would love to see where people are joining from. I am in the Miracle Mile area right now. It's a bit of a gray, cloudy day out there today. Uh, and I like that a lot. I like being a little bit chilly so I can wear all my nice soft things and be cozy inside. So I hope wherever you are today, you are feeling nice and cozy and safe. Hello, Christy, how's it going? <laughs> I'm gonna wait about just another minute to allow people to log on. So please feel free to share where you're joining from today or any other thoughts that you might want to share. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, we will be together for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, and if you get logged off at any time or need to go, don't worry, we are going to be posting this video right to our Facebook page immediately afterwards so you can pick up just where you left off. Um, oh, I see Jessica's joining from Downey. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Hello, hello. All right, it's 11.01. So my friends, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have brought a book with me today that is about one of my favorite animals. And I'm going to show you the cover and see if we can figure out what animal this is together, OK? This book is called I'm Done by Gretchen Brandenburg McClellan. Does anyone recognize this animal? I see Sarai from Carson and Christy from Rosemead have joined. Hi, everyone. So this animal is one of my favorites, and it is called a beaver. A beaver is a small, furry, aquatic mammal. And these animals live where there are river systems. So they live in rivers. They do live here in California. I was very happy to find out. But they don't live in the Los Angeles County area just to the north or south of us where there are river systems. These beavers build some pretty exciting things. They are master builders. Does anyone know what they build? I see some of us have said beaver, absolutely. Fun fact, our California beavers are affectionately known as golden beavers because we are the golden state. <laughs> so there's a hint right here. Does anyone know what a beaver builds? It's made of wood. Humans build them too out of very different materials. It's a three letter word. Ah, oh, I see Jen. Dams, that's absolutely right. A dam is something that a beaver builds across a flowing river. And they build it out of sticks and branches and saplings that they cut using their sturdy two front teeth, kind of like clippers. They'll clip away and break off that piece of wood and drag it with those strong teeth across the river and slowly they build up a dam, which is kind of like a wall across that flowing river. It stops the water from flowing and creates a big pond. That pond is deeper and wider than the river was, so it creates a lot more water for animals like fish and otters and birds to enjoy. It creates habitat, creates home for animals. So they're really great to have in an environment, uh, but they also build a home for themselves within those dams or sometimes just next to those dams called a lodge. And by making that pond nice and deep, they're making their lodge even safer because their front door is underwater. Can you imagine having to swim into your front door every day? That would be kind of kind of cool if you like to swim, if you like water. But a lot of the predators of beavers do not want to hold their breath and swim. So by making their front door underwater, they can swim into the water and up into a room filled with air where they can sleep and be safe. They use these like homes, just like we do. But in the winter time, these lodges become a safe haven for more than just beavers. They have been observed inviting animals like muskrats into their lodge to spend the winter so that they don't get too cold and they can stay safe. So this story I brought is about a little beaver who is just learning how to build a dam. And at first he kind of sees it like a chore, something that's not very fun. 
something he really doesn't want to be doing. He'd rather be playing with his friends. I think we can all understand what that feels like. Uh, but over time, he realizes that sometimes the chores that we're asked to do by our parents are really in the long run going to make us happier and stronger. So let's read a little bit about Beaver here. Are we ready? I'm Done by Gretchen Brandenburg McClellan. Nibble, nibble, snap. Little Beaver carried a twig to the stream. He set it across the water. I'm done, he called to Mama and Papa. Does that look like a dam? I don't know that one twig is really going to stop any water very much, but let's see. Let's find out. Flish, flish, swish. It was fish. Bet you can't catch me, fish said. Little beaver followed fish. Splish, splish, splash down the stream. Slap, slap, slap. Can we do that together? Papa's tail slapped the water. I don't think he looks very happy. Little beaver scurried back. You're done, Papa asked. Little beaver nodded. Not yet, Papa said. Nibble, nibble, snap, nibble, nibble, snap. Little Beaver dragged two more sticks to the stream and set them across the water. I'm done, he called. Wing, wing, zing. Blue feathers, uh, feathers flashed high above. Bet you can't find me, Bird said. Little Beaver followed Bird. Wiggle, wiggle, waddle through the trees. It looks like they're playing chase. <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Mama's tail slapped the water. Little Beaver hurried back. You're done, Mama asked. He nodded. Little Beaver, what are your paws for? Paddling and playing and patting and scooping, Mama said. You're not done yet. What does it look like she's scooping? looks like mud. I wonder if mud is one of their building materials. Let's find out. Nibble, nibble, snap. Nibble, nibble, snap. Nibble, nibble, snap. Little beaver set three more branches across the water. Scoop, scoop, pat. Scoop, scoop, pat. He patty cakes them together with mud. I'm done, he called. That dam is looking a little bit better. I wonder if he really is done now. Scurry, scurry, slide. Otter scooted by. Bet you can't tag me, Otter said. Little Beaver chased Otter into the big pond. Twirl, twirl, swirl. He whirled down deep and tagged Otter. You're it. <sighs> slap, slap, slap. Papa's tail smacked the water. Uh-oh. Little Beaver paddled to Papa. Follow me, Papa said. Little Beaver trailed Papa back to his pile of twigs and mud. Little Beaver, what is a dam for? Papa asked. Making a pond? Where is your pond? Little Beaver looked under a leaf. Papa didn't smile. You're not done yet, are you? Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. I'm done, little beaver said. I wonder if he really is done this time. But Papa was working on their family dam, and Mama was working on their lodge. Too busy, too busy to come. Do we see Papa there working on that dam? blocking the water, and Mama is working on the lodge, the room inside where they sleep. So Little Beaver carried a branch to help Papa. I'm done. We'll see, Papa said. Little Beaver paddled a branch to Mama. I'm done. We'll see later, she said. Right now, it's time for bed. Ah, do we see inside of their lodge? 
In their cozy den, Mama sang a song of a busy little beaver whose dam was nearly done. Little beaver dreamed of nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat, slap, slap, slap. Whoosh. The sound of water rushing through his dam startled little beaver awake. He hurried outside. There was still work to do. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. The sun dipped and bird called for him to race. Not yet, little beaver said, so bird stayed to help. Looks like bird is adding something to little beaver's dam. Do you see what that is? I think it's one of his feathers. That's very kind. Oh, it is nighttime. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. The moon rose and Otter called for him to chase. Not yet, little beaver said, so Otter stayed to help. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat. Fireflies glowed and fish called for him to swim. Not yet, little beaver said, so fish helped too. Nibble, nibble, snap, scoop, scoop, pat, 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 pat. Oh, little beaver and his friends watched in wonder as silvery water pooled behind his dam. He waded into the pond and lifted his tail. Slap, slap, slap. His tail smacked the shiny water. Mama, Papa, he called, I'm really done. Do we think he's really done? I definitely see a pond forming. Mama and Papa scurried to his side. Oh, little beaver, you really are done. Hooray, everyone cheered. Woohoo! Little beaver turned to his friends. Now, asked bird. Now, asked otter. Now, asked fish. Now, little beaver said with a slap of his tail. Race you across my pond. And wing paddle zing, they did. I think Mama and Papa look very happy right now. And so do Little Beaver and all of his friends. <laughs> it took a little while, but Little Beaver finally learned how to build a dam. I really love these animals too, because I feel I can relate to them a little bit. They tend to live in family structures that are kind of similar to ours, where parents stick together and they raise both their older and their younger kids at the same time, teaching them how to build dams so that they can go off and be successful adults on their own. Our parents teach us a lot of stuff too, and it really helps us to be stronger and be ready to go off on our own one day. So sometimes those chores might seem not so fun, but in the long run, they help us to be happier. You know, we do have a beaver diorama at our museum, which I know a lot of us are missing right now. Uh, but the beaver diorama is one of my favorite dioramas. It shows beavers making a dam. And we have a really fun challenge for people at home right now called our diorama challenge. And this is a chance for you to go to our website and see some really nice high res photos of some of our taxidermy dioramas in the museum. And it's asking you at home to try to recreate one of those dioramas with whatever you have at home and share your artwork with us through social media, hashtag diorama challenge and tagging NHMLA. Uh, we have seen some very cute and very fun diorama recreations. Uh, so I encourage you to think about some of our taxidermy dioramas you may be discovering or missing right now and see if you could maybe participate this week. Whatever you do with the rest of your day, thank you so much for joining us for Friday morning story time, and we will see you again next week. Have a great time, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>